ranked Arizona Wildcats have won 24 straight. They welcome the sixth ranked Tennessee Vols into what's going to be a brilliant atmosphere and a very compelling game. Glad you're with us with Jimmy Dykes, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. Great hoops all day. This feels like the main event. Let's cut right to it. Arizona, an elite offensive team. Tennessee, elite defensive team. Great matchup. Kevin, these two teams have the chops to go the distance. Not only get to the final four, but cut down the nets and win a national championship. They go about it differently. Arizona is electric on the offensive end, dynamic in their run game. And Tennessee is a juggernaut defensively. They have been all year under Rick Barnes. Their problem tonight, they're going up against the best high-low game in the country that Arizona throws at you with Umar Malo and Azulas Tabellas. These two cats, right around 6'11", 7 foot, they execute the high-low game as well as we have in the college game right now. Coming into today, there were only 12 dudes in the country going for over 18 points and over eight rebounds. Two of those guys play for Arizona. The classic hard to guard high low game out of Arizona tonight. Uh, these two, two of the top three scorers in the Pac-12, they are physical forces inside. So, look, this doesn't happen very often. Tennessee, the number one rated defensive team of the nation in terms of defensive efficiency. Against the number one rated offensive efficiency team of the country, that's Arizona. This is just the fifth time it's happened in 25 years. Buckle up. This should be a fun one. Top 10 battle inside the McHale Center. That one was batted out of bounds right off the initial tap, so we're going to do it one more time. The big build-up to do it all over, right? <laughs> A little anticlimactic <laughs> start, but eventually we're going to get going. Tony Padilla, John Higgins, Vern Harris, our officiating crew. It is a terrific officiating trio tonight for a top 10 battle. I haven't seen one of these at the non-conference inside this building in almost a decade. Here we go. Arizona in those whites. Tennessee with the bright orange. Tennessee is so physical on the defensive end. A lot of body blows on ball, off ball, a lot of body heat. Bella Larson, a cross-court feed to a terrific shooter. That's Courtney Ramey. You have to find some backside jump shots against Tennessee. They load up to the ball so well, you've got to throw some skip passes and knock down jumpers. So this is Rick Barnes' starting five. Santiago Vescovi is the lead guard in that unit. Tyree Key answers with a triple himself. And we got a couple of big bodies got tangled up afterward. That's Balo and Uroš Plavčić. Kevin, there's a little bit of bad blood between these two ball clubs. I did the game last year in Knoxville, and Tennessee put it on them pretty good. And Arizona felt like the whistle didn't go their way. They got shoved around a little bit. Tommy Lloyd really challenged his guys yesterday. He said, if we get out tough tomorrow night, it's on you. You know what's coming at you? Cinch it up and get it done. And it was a 77-73 win for Tennessee in Knoxville a year ago. And here is Tommy Lloyd's starting five. Oh, Ramey's feeling another. This three goes down and out. Azulis Tabellis with the follow. He is so good, Azulis Tabellis. One of the tougher guys to defend in all of college basketball because of his versatility. He is dynamic when the ball's on the glass as well. Back 12 scoring leader with his first bucket. This is Olivier Kamwa, one of the forwards inside for Tennessee. Santiago Vescovi, a couple of feet behind the arc, buries it. Good start for Vescovi. Normally he's the type of guy, if he makes his first one, he's got the ability to put up big numbers. Here's Larson, skips into the paint, high off the glass, tap back in. Yeah, the Tennessee is such a good rebounding club, but Arizona's got the size to match up with it all night. Easy one inside. You know, and going back to a point you mentioned, how important does it feel like physicality is in this game? Well, if, if you don't have it, you can't play. It's as simple as that. Just tell the coach, coach, I don't feel good tonight, sit there and watch. This is Kerr Carissa. The point guard steps back. His three is long. And we got a foul on the floor. So there is Rick Barnes. Eighth season now at Tennessee. Let's count it up. 763 wins. He's been in this building before as a Providence and Texas head man. First time as a Tennessee head coach. Well, he brings in the best defense in the country. You look at their defensive efficiency. Opponents scoring 81 points per 100 possessions. They also have the number one three-point defense in the country, yep. holding opponents at 20%. A lot of length, and they really get outside that three-point line. 
and challenge your looks. They've won some low scoring games, including last week, beat a ranked Maryland team 56 53. This one's going back the other way. So there is the very affable, very quick witted. He's got a good sense of humor. 47 year old from Kelso, Washington. That's Tommy Lloyd, 42 and 5 in a year plus, says the headband in Tucson. Yeah, National Coach of the Year last year. He brings that Gonzaga mentality. And what is that? Get the ball around the rim. And they do it awfully well. They lead the nation 63% from the two point part of the floor. Yeah, they are explosive on the offensive end. This is Klopchitz, who's got a couple of baskets. Now, there's his second. He's got four in the early minutes. Kevin, I, I think he's technical a on Klopchitz. Tony Padilla tees him up quickly. Kevin, Klopchitz is a guy that he looks for the fight. He absolutely looks for the fight. He's off to a good start. But then the jawing gets him in trouble. He takes it right at Balo, right up his nostrils like you have to do. And you can't oh. just hey, score and go the other end and act like you've done it before. And Plopchich is a guy that I think is a real key for Tennessee if they're going to make a deep run, shoot to high percentage, but score and act like you've been there. Just nonsense by Plopchich to start the game. Yeah, and a few years now in Knoxville, he's a redshirt senior. You're right. He's kind of garnered this reputation as someone who can he'll mix it up from time to time. In this case, he pays for the transgression. Here's Kirk Kreese at the line for the second technical free throw. Just things that you can't do in a tight ball game like this. Every possession matters. Free points given to Arizona, and Rick Barnes giving him an earful. If you don't have guts in the stomach, you can't play for that guy. He hard coaches you and loves you at an extreme level on both. Man, what an atmosphere, huh? Follow from 10 feet, got it. He has improved more than anyone in college basketball from last year to this year. And it mainly starts with the balance that he plays with. Put a ton of work in the offseason, doing stuff on one leg and then the other, and on those round medicine balls. His balance has gone to a whole other level. And so Arizona's got four straight and retakes the lead. There is a foul, though, on to Bellis, his first. He is as efficient as an offensive player as we have in college basketball. He's actually second in the nation, number 11 in white. And he's scoring 1.26 points per play. He's scoring over 18 points on the 14 possessions that he finishes off. You can't get more efficient than that. He has just shot up the charts in terms of what you look for for a low post score. There you go. That illustrates the growth. Yes, it does. Nearly tripling his point per game total from a year ago. This is Tom Walk contested fall away. Bounces to Crease, and this is what Arizona likes to do. It can get out and run in transition. So Cedric Henderson checks into the game for the first time. And now the Wildcats run some stuff. Larson is open. Three is strong. Henderson. A new 20. Henderson fires from deep. And a rebound down to Jonas Adu. He's off the bench for Tennessee and into the game. Anytime time. you take a shot against Tennessee and the ball didn't get reversed, you're going to take a challenge shot. Arizona, as good as they are offensively, Kevin, they've got to get that ball side to side and try to get Tennessee in some defensive rotations. From a defensive standpoint, this is no doubt going to be Arizona's toughest challenge of the season. It's played and beaten two ranked teams, make it three already. Oh, this is a challenging defensive assignment. Follow starting to barge into Adu. Lost the handle. Keys on the ground to save it. And Zakai Ziegler coming the other way. Key transition three rises. No. Adu secures the offensive rebound. The late clock offense now is better with Zakai Ziegler number five and Orange on the floor. Vescovi back out to Kamwa. Adu with four on the clock. No. Greece of the lob inside. Balo got it. You cannot allow Balo to get behind you as a primary defender. He's too good, too long, and Arizona is outstanding at the high low pass. What an atmosphere. Vescovi can't sit him down. 
Carissa, eyes up, here they come. Corner three from Henderson, no. Oh, we got the whistle. It looked like that one was deflected by a Tennessee Vol. And so we have a timeout. Yeah, Umar Balo, seven feet, 260. He pouted a little bit his red shirt here at Gonzaga. He has grown, he has matured. He's a monster on the block, hard to guard 11 in white. The gift of shine at sales the diamond store with sonic's two for five menu you get two delicious things for only five bucks which is helpful if you struggle with decision making the sonic two for five dollar menu mm, sonic who's on it with jardians three jump we're the ones getting it done we're managing type 2 diabetes <laughs> and heart risk. We're on it with Jardians. Join the growing number of people who are on it with the once daily pill, Jardians. Jardians not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one steady pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the new Sonic 2 for $5 menu for a limited time only at Sonic. A little more than 25 years ago, Arizona 1997 national champs led by a bevy of stars, Miles Simon, Jet Terry, Mike Bibby, there it is, the national championship banner. Well, what's the importance of the AP poll, the top 12 in week six? John Gasway from ESPN.com put this out earlier this week. I loved it. Since 2004, Kevin, the national champion during the week, week six AP poll has been ranked inside the top 12. All the way back to 2004, if history continues to roll that direction, your national champion this year is somewhere on that graphic. And I'm all in on teams like Purdue. UConn had them earlier uh, against Florida. They are the real deal. This Tennessee team's as good as anybody that I've seen. Kansas is electric with their speed game. Bill Self can just coach the personnel that he has as well as anyone out there. But the national champion most likely is coming from one of those 12. What a great find by John Gasway and our folks at ESPN.com. It's remarkable. You would expect that at this point of the year. You've played a couple of tough teams. You maybe have gotten your footing underneath you. Conference play right around the corner. Now you've had real games. You've had, yeah. you've had Maui, which Arizona won. You've had Atlantis, which Tennessee won. You've had challenges. Real stuff. Arizona's taken seven threes. They're one out of seven. And to your point, Look, Arizona has three wins against ranked teams. Tennessee has beaten a pair, including the reigning national champs, Kansas. Ziegler connects from deep. The smallest guy on the floor with the most guts. Zakai Ziegler, the game changes for Tennessee when he steps on the floor. He changed the entire program last year as a true freshman with his heart, his toughness, and his grit. He's going for 10 points a game this season. Better coming off the bench this year. He's been a capable sixth man. After the turnover, ball's going back to Tennessee. And what's the Kai Ziggler, that high butt screen that they operate off of Tennessee. They get the guard going downhill, and then you feed that slot high three-point shot filling in from behind. That's that's money offense for Tennessee. Jimmy Tennessee couldn't have asked for a better start. Five of nine from the, flo uh, from the floor. This is Adu against yeah, the freshman right. Vasar. Beats him. That's pro stuff right there. That is pro stuff.
Nice backdoor cut for Pella Larson, and a nice find by the freshman. He, Larson, is, is the hardest cutter that Arizona puts on the floor. He plays with a tenacity that you absolutely love, and it's hard to defend. After the a do miss, Arizona coming back the other way. We've highlighted the offensive electricity from this team. They scored 92 points a game. No one scores more in college basketball. Ramey starting to break down Phillips. Looked like a long two. Left it short anyway. Ziegler trying to draw the whistle, and he does. He draws that personal on Cedric Henderson. Those Tennessee guards are so clever. They get a defender on their backside. They will stop and draw that contact. Vescovy is the first guy to start it. Now those other guards like Ziegler have picked up on it. When Arizona goes small, and they're, they're small now without both bigs on the floor. Yeah. Their two-point defense drops 12 percentage points. Easier to score at the rim, obviously, right now with the lineup that Arizona has on it. Tennessee certainly has some size and physicality inside. Maybe attack the weakness. So they're going right back to Adu after he scored a moment ago. Faces up, leaves the eight-footer short, but it's going to stay here. Kevin, you cannot fade. You're seven feet tall. You're being guarded by a guy of equal size. I talked earlier about Plotchitz, and when you're a low post scorer, you go through the nostrils of the guy that's defending you. You don't fade away, and Adu fades away just a little bit, and as a result, ball short. I mean, how many times did we hear Rick Barnes say that yesterday in practice? He wants these guys, his guys to attack the rim with intent today. No ball on the floor, so it's Vasar and Tubelos. They're the two bigs inside. Phillips, the five-star freshman, no. Here comes Henderson. Knocked out, but stays here. So Arizona's won three in a row after its only loss. That was at Utah. It split its first two Pac-12 games of the season. Well, they they, they shot 14% from the three-point line at Utah. And yeah. they, had a, they had a Maui hangover feeling good about themselves and got stung that night. But well, since then, they've guarded at a different level. And their run game has been spectacular. Tennessee so far in this game has gotten out in front and forced Arizona to go against the set defense. Right, a couple of careless turnovers. Some players are tumbling. Kamwa somehow keeps the handle and scores it. Tennessee by two. Just getting started in the first half. Inside a sold out McHale Center for a top 10 battle. So here's Tubelis. Super skill junior. Ramey sets the feet and he drills the three, his second. He has three point percentage, has gone up about nine percentage points since he transferred from Texas. The high low game hasn't been effective yet for Arizona, but the jump shot game has him with that one point lead. Man, I love this kid. There is no stage, no arena too loud, too big for double Z, five in orange. Starting to score a little more of late. 12 a game is last three. And he quickly has five. Look who's open. That's Kylan Boswell, the freshman. And a rebound that time ripped away by Tobe Awaka. If I was built like Tobe Awaka, I would never wear a shirt and sell him wear pants. I would, I would wear shorts and flip-flops all day long. You wish. <laughs> Tennessee by one. Tennessee defensively, man, they can really get after you and impact the game. They impact ball screens as well as anybody in the college game. And it's, it's not just the guards, man. The bigs can get it and rip and run. Kamwa with a steal on the rip. And there's the stop ability of Ziegler. He plays the game with different speed, frees himself up, battle in the desert, and it's a good one. Your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event on now. Receive a credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through January 3rd.
Moderate to severe eczema still disrupts my skin. Despite treatment, it disrupts my skin with itch. It disrupts my skin with rash. But now I can disrupt eczema with Rinvoke. Rinvoke is not a steroid, topical, or injection. It's one pill once a day that's effective without topical steroids. Many taking Rinvoke saw clear or almost clear skin, while some saw up to 100% clear skin. Plus, they felt fast itch relief, some as early as two days. That's Rinvoke relief. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Disrupt the itch and rash of eczema. Talk to your doctor about Rinvoke. Learn how AbbVie can help you save. So here's Tennessee in another top 10 battle, this time on the road. They're kind of like, been there, done that. This is what it's done against the last five top 10 ranked AP teams it's faced. So go back to December of last year, almost to the day when it beat Arizona in Knoxville, then three straight against SEC top 10 ranked teams, and then the latest win against one of the best of the nation, the reigning national champs. That was down in the Bahamas to clinch the battle for Atlantis title. Yeah, that's a huge basketball game between them and the Kansas Jayhawks. In terms of teams that cut hard, Tennessee and Kansas, to me, have set the bar really high. If you just start watching teams across the country, it's one of the problems with Kentucky's offense, again, they don't cut hard. A lot of standing around when they cut, they don't cut with a violent attitude about them, but not this Tennessee team. And they are so good, Tennessee, with off-ball screening action. They're built different on the offensive end than most teams. Not a lot of ball screens, a lot of off-ball stuff that Arizona's got to blow up tonight. Escovy passes up the three. Kamwa takes one. And that's the fourth triple for the Vols tonight. So you drag Balo out, who wants to play drop coverage all the time by going a little smaller, and your five guy can make shots. Tabellis misfires on a lefty drive. Boy, Tennessee is shooting very well to start. Nine out of 16, 56% from the field, Jimmy. Well, Umar Balo likes to sit inside the arc and not come out. He plays constant drop coverage, but now Rick Barnes puts a shooting five guy on the floor with Kamwa, and Balo now is too late to rotate out. And Plofchich back in, and Balo now will go back to that drop coverage on the assignment. Plofchich got his hand on it, and Tony Padilla says last touch by Tubelis stays here. Kevin, you have to, you, it's, a, it's a glass game when you play Tennessee. Duke is getting 40.5 percent on the offensive glass leads the country Tennessee is 40.3 the game begins against Tennessee when the ball's on the glass they reverse the call uh, mind you so ball back to Arizona coming up on the halfway mark of the first half sell out inside McHale for this top 10 battle Tabellis barges through and scores it. Hard to guard because he can go either shoulder. He can score from the right block to left block, obviously from the middle part of the floor. In terms of the National Player of the Year race, the odds are right now it's Zach Eady, but sitting there with the six best odds in the country, according to those guys that look at it, is Azulis Tabellis. Yeah, look out, Plavchich takes flight again. He is such a force. Six feet and in, talking about Plopchich. He's all of 7'2 and 260. Physicality that Balo has not seen so far this year. A modest score you saw. He only averages five a game. He's got six, and now he's got the steal. He swoops in. Yeah, that's all started, though, by the hot ball pressure by Zakai Ziegler. That's offensive. Yeah, Kreese against the whistle. Yeah, tough guys don't let one mistake become two. And Kerr Kreese with a bad pass, but didn't let, let him affect the next four seconds of his life. A lot of guys drop their head and pout, and they reach on the other end and compound the problem. Yeah, how about how confident are these two right here for each of their respective teams? They play with swagger, edge, and attitude. Carissa and Ziegler. It'll be a fun battle tonight. No, no, they, they play like a point guard at this level is supposed to play. Yeah. That's exactly how you're supposed to play the game. 
Adama ball into the game for Arizona now. He gets his first minutes. Grisa lobs it in. Ballo. Power dribble. Rebound comes down to Tennessee and a couple of bodies right there in his face. Yeah, the primary defender was a mismatch, but the secondary defender, Plopchich, just as tall, a big orange wall thrown at Ballo around the rim. And they drop coverage by Ballo. So now Plopchich should become a really good screener. Kamwa, yes, another from deep, his second. He can shoot that three ball now. He's 33%, but coaches tell me all the time he's around 40% in practice. They trust his look. Tennessee, five of nine from deep. This is now Ball's first look. No. I'm telling you, the first side of the floor shots against Tennessee will get you beat if you're Arizona tonight. Move the ball, move the defense. Stays here with Tennessee, and they have 21 on the shot clock when we return. Olivier Kamwa is a tremendous defender. The guy he's guarding primarily is only shooting 30% on the year or less, but he can really stretch you. Arizona's got a, a chess puzzle they're trying to work out in this timeout. An experienced QPC eater knows you should never let the ketchup that falls from the hot and juicy burger go to waste. Hey, Lexus, play holiday music. Make this December one to remember. Together, happy holidays from Lexus. This is my song. And no one can take it away. And I wonder if you know what it means to find your dreams come true. Introducing hey, the hey, all-pro hey. passer robotic quarterback. Just pump, press, and pass. Hey, Slam, hey. post, short, long. All-pro passer has nine different passing zones so you can run hundreds of plays. Hey, hey, hey. And it can launch the ball over 25 yards. It's perfect for any park or backyard. You can get your all-pro passer and a TV bonus sticker sheet for $49.99. Plus $8.99 processing and handling. Batteries hey, not included. Hey, hey. Must be 18 or older to order. Only from NSI. Laser X, the number one home laser tag game on the planet. Join Team Red, Blue, or whatever color you choose. The Revolution Blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new Micro Blasters built in receiver, you can play blaster to blaster. The ultra long range blaster has the longest range of any Laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you blast multiple opponents at once. You can get the Micro Blaster double set for $29.99, and shipping is free. Batteries not included, extra blasters sold separately, plus the 18 year older to order. The three ball falling early for Tennessee on the road. They're five out of nine, and four different guys have knocked down a three. It's interesting, Tennessee on their practice floor back in Knoxville, they actually practice with a four-point line, about three steps outside that three-point line, so they're not afraid to take deep threes. Even guys like Kamwa, very comfortable two or three steps behind the three-point line. And a hot shooting start for Tennessee because the ball is hot and getting really good looks. Good offense is a good paint touch, a good ball reversal, great things happen. Well, that's how, that's one way you could describe Tennessee's offense this year. <laughs> By the way, look at the contrast. Last weekend, scored just 56 points in that win against Maryland, shot 20. 29% from the floor. They flipped the script at least early on in this game. It's offense, Jimmy, right? It's predicated by motion and ball movement and passing and cutting. Look, there's a lot of maybe future pros on this court, so you got the New Orleans Pelicans general manager. That's the former Duke Gray, Trajan Langdon's here. A lot of star power in the building. That's going to attract a lot of folks from around the NBA. Back to Plomchich. He's got six points in his first half already. Look at Tyreek Key just slithers in for the offensive rebound. And now a third look for Tennessee. Boy, they go to the glass with force, don't they? That time they were sending four and only one back. They put orange jerseys all over the glass. They're the best offensive rebounding team in the nation. This may be a loose ball foul on Kamwa. 
So that's the Finland natives first. And remember, let's remind you, the inaugural Jumpman Invitational is in Charlotte on Wednesday. Michigan and North Carolina go head-to-head -head Wednesday at 7 Eastern. That's on ESPN. North Carolina with a much-needed win today, knocking off Ohio State. And Armando Baycott with a brilliant day lead North Carolina to victory. Yeah, Pete Nance maybe made a shot for North Carolina that changed their season. So that game was over, and Pete and Nance, they throw that to the opposite side of the floor. The turnaround fadeaway sends that thing to overtime. A huge shot. Julian Phillips is a downhill driver, but we've already talked about Larson with the tenacity that he plays with. There will be collisions at the rim in this ball game, and you have to win your fair share of them. Brilliant matchups all day. This feels like the main event tonight. Tobellis, a run right to the rack. That's a tough matchup for Adu at seven foot because Tobellis is so good at 6'11, driving the ball down the pipe. Key trying to hypnotize Carissa, and he just wiggled his way into the paint and hits the fall away. Yeah, a little bit of a post-up play by Rick Barnes for his big physical guard. Isolate, back him down, trust his turnaround. Yeah, so six different balls have scored already. A tough matchup. It's not, it's not a tough matchup. It's a bad matchup for Tennessee, and Barnes is going to have to make a change. He's going to come with Tobey Iwaka, or maybe even smaller with Mayshack, but that matchup ain't working. Tabellis with eight. Vescovi steps into the mid-range. Not that time. Rebound down to Balo, but a foul beforehand. That's Kevin on Adu. Azulas Tubelis. He's too good. He takes a team high 13 shots a game. A ton of international experience. He can drive right, but he is phenomenal at driving left. And if you don't shade that left paw and force him back to your help, it's money for 10 and white with that highway drive, no traffic in front of him, and the easy finish. Rick Barnes has to make an adjustment. All right, another careless pass. So Arizona's given it away six times. And that butt screen once again. Oh, Same guy, is. right, Larson? Yep, Larson. That's a third charge that Arizona has taken. Your point before, they get back and hustle back in transition. There's that high butt screen that Tennessee gets downhill off of four or five times a game, and Arizona has it scouted out. They're sitting with a foot in the lane and a foot outside the lane, just waiting for that drive. Larson, a physically tough kid, man. He's taken some real blows and got the right call because of it. Tennessee by five. Only played in this building one other time at one. That was back in the 80s. It was the sixth meeting between these two teams. Heavyweight battle right here. Apollo. Meshack comes to double. Nearly ties him up. Plopchic trying to rip it away, and he's going to get called for the foul. Well, he is hot afterward. They already got whistled for one technical. I think Rick Barnes is trying to say that Apollo was in there for three seconds. Because once you stop trying to score, that three-second count should be called. But, man, there's just a ton of contact. He got fouled three or four times before they called the fifth. <laughs> yeah. So second personal foul on Plavcic. Kevin, what Tennessee does, they are big and physical, but they play big on the ball. They play extremely big on the ball. Eighth team foul on Tennessee. That sends Ballo to the line. Now he's only 52% from the line. He converts on the first. Redshirt Jr. from Mali. We were talking to Tommy Lloyd about his maturation. Well, he's just more consistent now, and that's how he is just vaulted to. Uh, you could start making a case. He's turning in an All-American-like season, at least early on. No, absolutely. He's drawing Ballo his eight fouls per 40 minutes, which is the fourth best drawing foul rate in the country. Talked about his balance, his work ethic. He completely decided this past summer, I'm going to become a real dude, and he is.
Meshack picked up his dribble and just hurled it out of bounds. Well, I'm not sure why Meshack's running the point with Ziegler and Vescovy on the floor at the point guard spot. Rick Barnes probably asking the same, the same question. Kevin, it gets good defense. You got to make the decision that you see. You do not guess. Survey the play, read the play, but you cannot guess against a good defense team like Tennessee. Larson, super athletic, gets back into the paint. Ballo draws another whistle, so he's going back to the free throw line for a one and one. Well, Tobey Awaka is a stud as a freshman. He's given up about five inches, and Ballo, again, his balance now is why he's doing what he's doing. Last year, the contact would kind of knock him off of his spot. Not this year. Once he's where he is, you ain't moving number 11. 7 260 He's a load. Yes, he is. He's got the eight points already. Remember, we've got a huge day of women's college hoops coming up. That's tomorrow. And it starts with UConn and Florida State at 11 a.m. Eastern. That game on ESPN. You got Tennessee and the second ranked Stanford Cardinal over on ABC at 3, followed by a top 25 battle. Iowa State and Villanova at 3.30 Eastern on ESPN. Unusual to see a nine beside the name UConn, isn't it? In the women's game <laughs> yeah, that, usually yeah, that, a one or a two. Low. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And this game, Boy, how about this play? Yeah, it's, it's lived up to what we thought it would be. The best day of college basketball so far this season. And it's going to end with this one. Phillips just chucked up a wild one. Arizona now on the move. It scored five straight, back within two. Tabellis, that quick step into the paint. Body was sideways momentarily, and he draws another whistle. So what happened on that play in transition, Ballo sprints to the rim and shrinks the defense, drags the defense with him. And Azulis Tabellis again just with a highway drive. Like, Ballo kind of cleared out the traffic, and he just followed him right down the pipe and drew the contact. Uh, both of these teams draw a ton of fouls. They've got high free throw rates. Tabellis, 84% at the stripe, is now into double figures. Boy, what a year he's had to start. A junior from Lithuania. He scored 20 in four straight games. He's done that seven times. Taking a huge step forward, and Arizona has just knotted it up. It's on a 7 nothing run. Vescovy the three. That one looks pure, but instead bounces out. First hostile environment of the year for Tennessee. No doubt it's most difficult road environment of the season. It's first official road game. Look at a deep post catch that time by Ballo. But there's a three-second call. Well, it's, it's, it's been waiting to happen. And I, you know, I mentioned Rick Barnes about two minutes ago was in the year of that three-second call, and he got one because of it. And it's what called maybe once every 100 games in college basketball. They just got called. It's going to be very difficult, I think, for either team to get a lot of separation in this game. They're too well built. Yeah. They're too well coached. You got everything you look for in a championship run. Vescovy's pass was deflected by Tabellis. Larson may have accidentally punted it forward. So Ziegler now. In a hurry, the leaner falls through. What a tough shot. I mean, he just took up the defensive slack in transition. When you're small, you have to have that runner in your back pocket and use it a couple of times a game, and Ziegler just did it to perfection. Tennessee, 48% from the floor. Offensive foul. This time, Vescovy takes the charge. Oh, So it's Tennessee by two. Charged up. Electrified McHale Center, top 10 battle. 
We got players jawing, pushing and shoving, battling underneath. Oh, it's a fun one in the desert. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me. We are the helping hand. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thanks for everything you do, Clara. We couldn't let you be alone for Christmas. We put you in the street. At Domino's, we're tipping you $3 for being the hero that gets off the couch. Be right back. And goes to get the pizza. Get a $3 tip for ordering carryout online at Domino's. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Contestants ready? Go! No! Oh, no, 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 no! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Because your lives are forever entwined. Darling, please be mine. Love Entwined, exclusively at K. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites, like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Are you ready for football to get down to the nitty gritty? Or whatever this is? Are you standing up, breaking down, and staying hyped for football? Good, then you're ready. Not one, not two, not three, not four. We've had five ranked on ranked college basketball games today. A gigantic day around the sport. Yeah, big kid basketball all day long. Grady Dick was phenomenal again for Kansas. I think he's going to be a lottery pick when it's all said and done. Drew Timmy with 29 points. If you're Alabama, you gave up 100. That's a big question mark that Alabama has to answer under Nate Oates. Houston, how about the bounce back by them to go on the road and beat, take down Virginia? Drace Walker with 17 points. They're still going to be very difficult to handle. And UCLA had a really good week sweeping the East Coast. They get that 10-point win against Kentucky today, and Haquez was phenomenal. He and uh, Azulis Tabellis, Umar Balo will be running the chase in that Pac-12 Player of the Year. We're now down to five unbeatens on the year. UConn, who, they're the real deal. There's yeah. not much separation in them. And Tennessee, Arizona, the best teams I've seen so far. Get Kansas right there with them. Purdue today, another monster game out of Zach Eady, although they were they were pushed to the brink. But he gets 29 and 16. And uh, Chris Jans of Mississippi State, they, they struggle to score, but man, do they guard you. What a great hire in the SEC. But there has not been a more impactful day in all of college basketball. Started early this morning in Lawrence, Kansas, and we finish up in Tucson tonight. The fifth and final right here. Top 10 battle between Tennessee and Arizona inside a sold-out McHale Center. Now, interesting, Gonzaga got a really nice win today. They're not inside that top 12 of the AP poll right now, so it, can they, you know, kind of throw a curveball at history going forward? Did that seem like the most important win today for Gonzaga? Uh, I would say so. I mean, they, they, you know, the Kentucky win was a good one, but they are just built to score around the rim. And look at Tommy Lloyd's club. They're the best in the country, these guys in white at the two-point part of the floor. And they hammer home the importance of using the backboard, scoring off the of tips, getting on the offensive glass, and throwing the dadgum ball inside is about as simple as I can put it. So these are going to be Arizona's ninth and tenth free throws. So now they're eight of nine at the stripe. Tennessee hasn't even taken one at the free throw line. It, though, has hit five threes. So Tennessee has been hot from deep Arizona as we expect it has been getting to the free throw line. And Kevin, that, that's a big number because Tennessee has made more free throws on the year than their opponent has attempted. So this is this is new territory for Tennessee to be playing through tonight with a free throw advantage not on their side of the ledger. Pella Larson with the latest two. Three minutes to go, first half. Ziegler swerves into the paint. That's the second time he's hit that little leaner. For a tough, strong, rugged, small guard, he has such a soft, soft 
finesse pin finish with that right paw off the run. Yeah, sophomore from Long Island just got a piece of that pass. He's now guarding Cedric Henderson. Tough to Balo off the back of the iron. Rebound down to Adu. That's the shot Tennessee wants Balo to take. He is not a jump shot guy. He's a three feet and in guy. Oh, Ziegler almost corked that one and went down and out. Got a mismatch. And Tabellis right here. Phillips a freshman. This is the mismatch. Phillips needs help. Escovy was coming over. Phillips blocks wow. it. The timing, perfect. He wins the battle. Rick, Rick Barnes challenged him yesterday for about 90 seconds, stop practice, and said, when are you going to start helping us defensively? <laughs> what, what Coach, yeah. I just did with two minutes to go in the first half. Tennessee starting to run its stuff. Ziegler again has done a good job of penetrating. Vescovy gets his man in the air. No, he's normally money. Vescovy is on that sidestep three off the shot fake. High low. Oh, there's an easy one. Brilliant feed from Tabellis. Yeah, to as, as, as soon as you relax in terms of not enough pressure on the passer and you allow Balo to get an angle, it is over. Adu goes strong right into Balo. He went straight up. Now numbers for Arizona. Larson hacked. Ziegler disagrees. Larson's going back to the free throw line where he's already two of two. And Umar Balo plays so smart as a low post scorer. I haven't seen anyone this year that understands walking your defender up the lane better than this kid. And he is phenomenal at showing a target hand. He, he and Tabellas now, they just have a, a common link between them in terms of feel, trust, target hands. I'll say it again, it is the best high-low game in college basketball is right here in Tucson between those two. And so Arizona has its first lead in 10 minutes. They met last year at Knoxville, Tennessee won your reference. Now, a lot of these guys on the floor, they were in that game a year ago. It almost feels like part two of a big match. There's a foul on Tobellis. Yeah, it's only the fifth one, though, so Arizona could afford to gamble there a little bit. And Tommy Lloyd told his guys yesterday, we're not going to sit back in this game. I, I want us to take some chances and some run-throughs. And Tobellis almost got one to close out the half, but now he sets down with two, and boy, the first one he picks up in the, in the second half now becomes really important. Ian Henderson have been whistled for two. There's several Tennessee players with a pair of fouls. Inside of a minute, Tennessee is 15 on the shot clock. No Ziggler on the floor, so the late clock ability of Tennessee drops just a tad. Who can touch the paint and make a play? Key trying to improvise. Vescovy contested three. No. Balo had it charred away into Ramey's hands. Ball never got to the paint. That's an offensive foul. They whistle Ramey for being out of control that time. Yeah, that's the right call. Tyree Key is set. He just gets ran smooth over. He gets dump trucked. And John Higgins is the lead official to sprint the play and be out in front of it. Really well done. By the way, Vern Harris, John Higgins, Tony Padilla, you don't get a better crew than what's in this one tonight. This holiday season, give your family the gift that keeps on going. Our very own Energizer Bunny. Energizer Ultimate Lithium. <laughs> the number one longest lasting double-A battery. Oh, that's my piece of the shakaroni. That's the biggest one we make. They donate the dollar from every shakaroni to the Papa John's Foundation. Dang, that's huge. If the hoop was as big as that pizza, maybe you'd have made some of your free throws. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody save me a slice. Where'd he come from? For its sixth straight win against an AP top 10 ranked team down to late in the first half. So there's Josiah Jordan James. He has been, boy, the heart and soul. He's formed the bedrock of this program, the senior, the last few years. Jimmy, he is out for his, what is it, sixth game of the yeah. year now, second straight. He's just been dealing with just this lingering 
left knee uh, uh, discomfort and pain that's kept him out of more than half of Tennessee's games. Now. Yeah, he's, he's, that, that, that's a big hit to Tennessee. He's their best overall defender, a little bit like Herb Jones was a few years ago at Alabama. Feels like a very important it is. Closing possession. Arizona is showing a zone 2-3 look, but they can quickly match up out of it and go man-to-man. -man. They've played very few minutes of zone so far this year. It looks zone, it may be man, but they have Tennessee standing right now instead of moving. Got a two and a half second differential. Bescovy bounce pass to Adu. Got him. Oh, look who's open on the baseline. Jamai Meshack. Two seconds. Creesa, three quarters court. No. And we go into the break tied. A beautiful job by Tennessee to get the shot they wanted. They were patient. They didn't panic. They came out of the timeout. The defense looked different. And what do they do? They get the ball to the nail right there. That's the nail. And from the nail, you get a violent cut out of the corner. And Meshack with a big basket. 35-35. Expect it between these two teams. You think that first half delivered or what? Top 10 battle in the desert, and we're all dotted up at 35. So after the break, we'll go to our studio in Bristol. Kevin Seth and the Fonz after the break. Halftime here in Tucson. Five bread sticks. For my triple treat. Three layers deep, ten cinnabon mini rolls to eat, and the pizza plus another pizza. The triple treat box, only from Pizza Hut. Did you know one of Nissan's EVs survived the North Pole? <laughs> and one can go zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. And they're all emission free. But don't get an EV for the E. Get it because it pins you to your seat. Sparks your imagination and takes your breath away. Take you to the Nissan EVs aren't just electric, they electrify you. We know y'all can cook real good, but sometimes the fam just wants Popeyes for dinner. And since our 10-piece box packs lots of our juicy mixed signature chicken everyone can enjoy, you want in too. Get it only at Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. It's NBA Christmas Day, five-star studded matchups all day long, beginning at noon on ESPN and ABC. We were born for this. Game time frame of mind got you on the fence. I can't wait, no breaks, never on the fence. You're not just the best, but the best that you ever seen. You won't find you a better team. Fulfilling all the dreams that you ever dreamed. Right? We'll never leave. You're not just the best, but the best that you ever seen. You won't find you a better team. Fulfilling all the dreams that you ever dreamed. Right. We'll never leave. You're not just the best, but the best that you ever seen. Get 20% off your next fan gear order at Fanatics.com when you create a Bolt account. Check out with just one click for a fast and secure shopping experience. No username or password required. Use Bolt on Fanatics.com. Officially licensed everything. Why is everyone talking about navage and nasal irrigation? I am one who suffers from chronic sinus infection. You need to clean that crap out of your nose. Navage is simple. Your nose is the body's air filter, but it's not perfect. Navage is a drug-free way to help flush out allergens, mucus, and germs using powered suction. Join nearly 3 million Navage users so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier. I love this thing. It's nice to breathe. Navage, clean nose, healthy life. Do you have an invention idea? Go to inventhelp.com to get started today. We have services to showcase your invention. This holiday season, why not do something for yourself? Go to inventhelp.com or call 844-7-INVENT for free information. 20 minutes of college basketball inside the books. We invite you inside our ESPN College Basketball Studios. LaFonso Willis, Coach Seth Greenberg, Kevin Connors here on what was a dynamite day of yep. college basketball Saturday. Five top 25 matchups. Great doubleheader inside Madison Square Garden. UCLA and Kentucky 
Coach, what was the difference in this game down the stretch? Jaime Hawkins, absolutely dominant. His ability to back his defender down, create angles, and score over the top of the Kentucky defense was the difference. Tiger Campbell, big shot maker, Fonz. Oh, he's so good reading it. You go, you go underneath, they'll go behind. He gets you on his hip and able to get in the lane. He's got all the finishes once he's in the gap. And then Jalen Clark coming up big. Jalen Clark is the best defender in college basketball. He's active and alert off the basketball. He gets deflections. He throws through passing lanes. And he's a lockdown defender from a point guard to a power forward. 63-53, Bruins win. Gonzaga, Alabama in Birmingham. Brandon Miller banged home six threes en route to a game-high 36. At 6'8", I mean, he is very difficult to match up with. You put a smaller guy on him, he can take it down the post. Bigger guy, he can able to take off the dribble. And if you go under, he knocks that three down at above a 40% clip. And Alabama had no matchup for Drew Timmy. Defending him with Noah Clowney, basically you could get arrested for that. His experience, <laughs> his ability to create angles, his patience is hard to defend for a young front court player. Double-double for Timmy, and boy, maybe the last big test for Gonzaga. Maybe until March, they got lead play, obviously, with the 190 victory. Houston and Virginia. Fonz, how did the freshman Jarris Walker perform late? Oh, he was so good. I mean, his ability to be able to knock down the three, can play with this back to the basket. And if you get a late close out there, he can knock down the three. Pretty impressive for 6'8", 245-pound freshman, Seth. I thought this game was going to come down to guard play, and I thought that Houston's guard imposed their identity on the game, not only defensively, mm. but offensively, by getting paint touches, kicking it out, and creating easy score opportunities for the Cougars. Walker down the stretch, Ooh. falling away. Mm. All Yikes. five starters in double figures. Houston gets to 11 and 1, 69, 61. But look, both teams are trips to the dentist, right? I mean, they, <laughs> they, they make you earn everything whatsoever. Yeah. Fonz, what stood out a bit about the way the Cougars attacked Virginia? Yeah, Virginia, I'm not used to them getting beaten off the dribble, Seth. And, and as they were getting beaten off the dribble, Houston was able to get into the painted area almost at will. And if they weren't scoring a layup at the rim, they were drawing two and kicking and able to get some wide open shots. Two back-to-back -back threes for Marcus Sasser really got him going in this game, Seth. Yeah, 17 assists, 25 field goals. That's an example of their ability mm -hmm. to get in lane, make a play, make a play for someone else. And then on the defensive end, just the quality of shots that Houston got in relation to the quality of shots mm -hmm. that Virginia got. Houston did a great job of keeping everything in front of them, not getting split, forcing contested shots, and then limiting Virginia to one shot. They absolutely kept the guard play of Virginia out of the lane. Kihei Clark had been brilliant over mm -hmm. the last three games. 18 points a game over those last three. Only nine in this game. Two of eight from the field. They did a fantastic job against him as Fons, well. If he's your primary offensive weapon, though, he's got to be a secondary offensive Agreed. player to me. Huge road win for the Cougars, knocking off the nation's number two. Elsewhere, Davidson and, rather, Indiana and Kansas. Fonz, offensively, defensively, take your pick. Kansas throttled Indiana. I love what they did defensively by taking Trace Jackson Davis out of the game. They double teamed him every time he caught the basketball on the box, had him uncomfortable, and their, deep, their offense sputtered as a result. Yeah, Dwan Harris is the most underrated player in college basketball. His ability to orchestrate the offense for Kansas. But I'll say it again, Kansas's wing players are the best in college basketball. They got three guys that are 6'6 to 6'8 that are matchup mm. nightmares. Grady Dick knocks on jumpers, Malik Cullen rebounds to basketball, and Jalen Wilson might be player of the year. In a 22-point win, Ohio State, North Carolina, one, a two-point game, one second to go. Pete Nance to overtime. Imagine if we could do what the NBA did and advance the ball under two minutes to half. Of course, we'd have all kinds of finishes like that. <laughs> In overtime, how did the Heels take over? Caleb Love with a beautiful drive there, knocking down that shot. But the story offensively for North Carolina, Armando Baycott, 28 points in this game. You know what you have to do to get 28 points? You got to get touches. They finally played through him in the second half, and he paid huge dividends. 22 for Caleb Love, 21 for R.J. Davis, and a much-needed win for North Carolina when we come back. Purdue, the nation's number one, getting more than it wanted. UConn tested on the road as well. Part of a fantastic Saturday. If you still have symptoms of moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis or active psoriatic arthritis after a TNF blocker like Humira or Enbrel, Rinvoke is different and may help. Stand up to your symptoms with Rinvoke. Rinvoke is a once daily pill that tackles pain, stiffness, swelling. For some, Rinvoke significantly reduces RA and PSA fatigue. It can stop further irreversible joint damage, and Rinvoke can leave skin clear or almost clear in PSA. 
That's Renvoke Relief. Renvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Renvoke as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Ask your rheumatologist for Renvoke. Renvoke, make it your mission. Learn how Abby could help you save. We are the makers. You're not just here to compete in your sport or not just here to get your degree. You're here to really make change. I want to be a teacher. One of my biggest goals in life is to give back as much as I can. Difference makers. We're constantly striving to create a better environment for those around us. We have the opportunity to be change makers or be makers in the first place or be influencers. And I think we need to use that for good. We are the change makers. We are the difference makers. We're the best. Trump is the champions. Research shows people remember commercials with nostalgia. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance, here's one that'll really take you back. It's customized home insurance from Liberty Mutual. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. If you thought one napkin for the quarter pounder with cheese was enough, it's not enough. Are you kidding me? Is that for me? How? Oh, can't wait to see what you got your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event, on now. Receive a credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through January 3rd. Kat Fonz and Coach back with you in studio here at the half. We are two weeks away from the highly anticipated college football playoff semifinals, Michigan TCU gets things started for Eastern. Georgia Ohio State finishes off the night in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Round out your year with the college football playoff semifinals. Matt McKillop and the Wildcats battled number one Purdue, but boy, the Boilers are just loaded. Well, when you have Zach Eady down in the post, basically playing Nerf hoops with all of college basketball. <laughs> he had 29 and 16 in this game. He's the MVP, the most valuable player in the country at this stage, Seth. I agree with you, Fonz, but how about the freshman backcourt Ooh. of this Purdue team? Fletcher Lawyer, Braden Smith. Braden Smith had 10 points and 12 rebounds from the point guard position. Wow. Those two young guys don't play like freshmen, and Caleb First is starting to kind of impose his identity on this Purdue team. 29 and 16 for Edie. UConn and Butler, a tough trip to Hinkle Fieldhouse. It always is. How about 27 and 14 from Adama Sonogo? That is a mountain mess rating. There's a man who's no doubt about it. But I'll tell you what, Butler made a run and cut it, cut it to four. Mm -hmm. And all Connecticut did was do what they do. They got stops. They executed offensively. Sonogo knocked down a big three. They are as complete as any team in the country finds. Absolutely. And have a big time shot maker in Jordan Hawkins. He had 12 in this game. Sonogo helping deliver the knockout blow. UConn gets to 12 and 0, 68 46. Mississippi State, one of the five remaining unbeatens. Coach, what should we know about the Bulldogs? They're hard to score against. This team is as solid defensively, fundamentally sound, close out, on balance, physical, disruptive as any in the country. Now they got to find a way to score points. Uh, they do, and much of that goes through Tolu Smith. 15 points and eight rebounds in this game, and I love what the Oregon State transfer Deshaun Davis did. He had 14 in this game as well. Austin Claunch's team hung around thanks to Manny Littles, but down the stretch, the no. defense making plays. Pierce Spencer off the mark. Mississippi State gets to 11-0, 68-66. Your second half is coming up after this. You're helping her study for a geography test. When a burger with steak, butter, and bacon sounds like the best. She's about to find out you can't read a map. Hey, Sonic steak, butter, bacon, cheeseburger. Mm, Sonic. The fully electric Audi e-tron family is here. With models that fit any lifestyle. And innovative ways to make your e-tron your own. Through elegant design and progressive technology, all the exhilaration, none of the compromise. The Audi e-tron family. Progress that moves you.
give the gift of shine. Only at sales. The Diamond Store. We have the maker mindset. We're trying to change things for the better. They're trying to make sports more safe and inclusive for all. CU's initiative is called Women with Altitude, and so that is our commitment to get just all around better representation for females. I think it's super important to network with the community. It's super important to give back. To be part of the Pac-12, pushing us to do better in our everyday lives and make a difference wherever we go. I am a change maker. Difference maker. Connection maker. The Pac-12 is the Conference of Champions. Do you have an invention idea? Go to inventhelp.com to get started today. We have services to showcase your invention. This holiday season, why not do something for yourself? Go to inventhelp.com or call 8447-INVENT for free information. Why is everyone talking about navage and nasal irrigation? I am one who suffers from chronic sinus infection. You need to clean that crap out of your nose. Navage is simple. Your nose is the body's air filter, but it's not perfect. Navage is a drug-free way to help flush out allergens, mucus, and germs using powered suction. Join nearly 3 million Navage users so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier. I love this thing. It's nice to breathe. Navage, clean nose, healthy life. Show the world what it means to be a fan at Fanatics.com, the largest assortment of officially licensed college fan gear from more than 500 colleges. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. A main event inside the McHale Center. Second half about to get going. Top 10 battle. It's Tennessee and Arizona knotted up at 35. Here come the Wildcats. You need a hype man. It's a cylinder foul right there. Yeah, that one is specifically. <laughs> but this has been a, a super first half. It's definitely delivered. 35 up with Jimmy Dykes, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. Both teams did uh, several things well. It just felt like that was a half of grown man basketball is what we saw. Yeah, I, I didn't know if Arizona had the fight in them to hold up in this game, and they do. And then you look at Tennessee. They've only gotten 21% on the offensive glass because Arizona has battled them on the glass. But it's all about the big guys for Arizona coming in and so far in the first half they've delivered omar balo and azula stabellas have combined for 21 points they're eight out of 12 from the field they've also combined to draw four fouls the tabellas going to his right shoulder is money on that block but he's also a phenomenal driver from up top in the middle third of the floor he's just hard to guard he's one of the better players in all of college basketball that combo of balo and tabellas is why this thing is knotted up because Tennessee defensively is as good as it is in the country. The lead changes, they just can't, no separation right now. A little bit of a turnover issue for Arizona. How about this? Tennessee has not shot a free throw so far in this game. Again, they make more than the opponent's attempt. Tennessee also, not a point from their five-star stud, Julian Phillips. And they're still tied up in this game on the road. After the miss, look at Santiago Vescovi swiped that one away. It would have given Tennessee a lead. And you're right, these teams have remained pretty even, or they did remain pretty even in that first half. Tennessee led by as many as seven, only to see Arizona go on a quick 5-0 run to swipe that lead or cut right into that deficit immediately. And it's been pretty close since. Well, what a job by Plopchitz to stay even with Balo because they're trying to go high-low. He stayed even with him in his drop coverage. You cannot do it any better defensively than what 33 and Orange just did. Yeah, he's given some of the Arizona big some problems at times. At that long reach, and like you said, he's all of 7-1. Into the paint, Phillips draws the foul. Kevin, here's what I'm talking about with Plopkins. This is going to seem simple, but as he drops, watch as he drops right here, he does not allow Balo to get behind him. He stays even or keeps him in front to take away that high-low lob. Really well done by the 7-2 Plopchic. Now Serbia now ready to inbound it. Arizona's won 24 in a row in this building. Plopchic, by the way, is going to get whistled for that chicken wing, so that's going to be his third foul. And, and that's the right call. He put himself in a bind in the first two minutes. We went John and had to sit down. And right here, boom, just steps out with that right hip. That's the right call. That's an easy call. And the most hated guy in the building <laughs> yeah. is going to sit early in the second half. Plopchich, he's been uh, mixing it up. John with several of the Arizona players. 
Follow is calling for it. A crazy foul to start the second half. Follow, count it. And he's starting to flex now. Headed to the line for one more. He doesn't make that shot and get fouled if Plotchic is still on the floor. But now this is an undersized freshman who's awfully strong, but it's just too much size and too much length. And that goes back to Plopchich. And if you're Rick Barnes, you tell Plopchich, see what you just cost us? And I got a true freshman to walk on the floor who's given up about six inches and 40 pounds. Now you were talking about it the last couple of days. Look, Tennessee certainly brings a lot of size and length in this building. How would you assess how Arizona's bigs have handled the pressure? Oh, yeah, the absolutely physicality? they have. I mean, Arizona's just as long. And they've held up just as physical so far in this game. I mean, they, they've got more than the advantage on the inside early. That would have been Phillips' first points. Freshman still scoreless. And then a foul after that sequence. Ball's going back to Arizona. No, I think it's a flop warning. I mean, not, not a warning, it's a flop call oh, pardon on me. Phillips. I guess it's after the shot, but. Which isn't a personal foul, so we just have the Class B technical and one free throw for Creesa. Watch two in orange. He takes the jump shot. Yeah, there, there's no contact there, and he hits the deck and tries to fool the official. I love the rule. You're trying to fool the official by faking getting fouled. We have no part of it, and we are making progress. You're not seeing nearly as many of those flop calls called like we did the first 10 days of the game of the season. And that's a change from last year. You used to have the warning. Now, no more warnings. And the officials can assess the flop technical right when they see it. We should have never been given warnings to start with. When you went to the flop call, just the penalty should have been automatic. But at least we finally got there. So look at Arizona. It's got its largest lead of the day. Carissa, this is a deep one, and he missed everything. Creaso <laughs> was saying, wait a second, did Kamwa get a piece of it? And he's like, nope, I, I didn't touch it. Creese has got that Jeremy Pargo, Pangos swagger that Tommy Lloyd coaching Gonzaga. He knows how to handle 25 in white. Very effervescent Estonian. He's their point guard. Awaka, boy, right into Balo's chest. The freshman scores it. He's going to be a monster, man. He's Right now, he's getting one rebound every two minutes that he's on the floor. Doesn't know what he doesn't know, but man, does he play hard. Balo just steamrolled somebody. Looked like Santiago Vescovi to Bellis. I think they got Balo for the clear out, though. Basket's going to count, John Higgins says, and then you're right. Balo is whistled for the personal. I love the flash cut, though, by Azulas to Bellis, the flash of that nail. He's such a hard cover. Azulas to Bellis is. He's, he's, he's all of 6'11". He plays like a guard, but, man, he's got some stuff about him. Arizona loses three players in the NBA draft, and here they are with players like Tobelis and Balo, 9-1 and one on the year. Now in a hurry. Larson has gotten right to the rim several times now. Six-point lead. Phillips off the curl cut with the left hand, bounces off the rim. Awak is right there to collect it. I'll tell you, he's got a nose for the ball and a knack to go get it. Big, strong, stud. Should still be a senior oh. in high school. Uh -oh. He's open. Ramey tapped out by Phillips. New 20 for the Wildcats. Kevin, it's not easy to get out in front of Tennessee's defense. The Kerr crease in the middle of third of the floor with a little hand back and gets Larson a little bit of a shallow cut from behind and gets him going downhill. I love everything about Larson's game. If he becomes a 35, 36% three-point shooter consistently, he could be a really good pro. That's the only thing yeah. holding him back is the rest of his game is so well-rounded. He's a junior from Sweden, one year at Utah, and after transferring, this is his second year in Tucson. Late shot clock offense now for the Wildcats. This is Kerr, two to shoot. Oh, he blows by Vescovy, high off the glass and in. Yeah. 
And where does Tennessee find offense? They, they don't have that 18, 20 point score. They got a bunch of guys that can average 10. And you need a guy right now with some big batteries, you just go get your one. Who is it? Ziegler on the bench. No Josiah Jordan James for his sixth game this year. Three seconds to shoot. Step back from Vescovy. He got hit on the arm. So that'll be the first on Larson. He's got free throws and we come back. Kevin, that's that's tough for Arizona because you played really good defense. But what a start for the, the Wildcats in the second half. Bear down. The college football playoff semifinals. And the college football playoff national championship on ESPN. An original six matchup tomorrow on ESPN. An experienced QPC eater knows you should never let the ketchup that falls from the hot and juicy burger go to waste. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoq, a once daily pill. When UC got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoq. Check. When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoq. Check. And when UC got the upper hand, Rinvoq helped, helped visibly repair, repair the colon lining. lining. Check. check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how Abvi could help you save. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. <gasps> Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me. We are the helping hand. Holly! Happy holidays, <laughs> Wendy's new Italian Mozz is fried mozzarella, garlic knot bun, marin... You know what? You're just going to want to eat it. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich. Arizona by six to open up its largest lead of the evening. Jimmy, how do you make uh, making layups simple? Well, in practice, like you're at, look at the red tape that they they actually put red tape on the backboards in practice. And the, the purpose is any shot around the rim or layups, Tommy Lloyd wants that ball to get to that high corner. Stop it right there. Man, that's exactly where red tape is every day. They want that ball up high on the corner of that square. And you go back to Tommy Lloyd's time at Gonzaga, they just dominated folks around the rim. This is the guy that understands you win a ton of ball games, making your layups and making your free throws. But that red tape is up every day at practice to give a visual for when you're driving or you're in traffic and you're trying to get an offensive rebound put back, get that ball up high where that red tape is. And it pays off. They lead the country in two point percentage makes. Look, some, uh, some people are visual learners. <laughs> Arizona is. Boy, uh, Rick Barnes walked into shoot around this morning and he goes, what is that up there? Oh, yeah, there's the red tape for, yeah. for layups. Hey, Rick Barnes will have red tape on <laughs> yeah. the backboard starting this week. I, I love the visual that you, you can go back and now grade a film and stop the film and say, where, where did the ball hit? You missed the layup. Where did the ball hit? Why was it not on the red tape? Vescovy connects twice at the line, so no surprise. Yeah, Ziegler comes back into this game. Yeah, I, I told you at, at break, I said Ziegler's got to get back in the game. He's a game-changing, momentum-changing, toughness, fight-changing kid that Tennessee needs right now to flip this game. Uh, Jimmy had a nice first half shoot in the basketball, got into the paint several times, nine points, four or five from the field, plus three rebounds. Foul inside, though, is going to be whistled against a walk-up boy. That Arizona loves that lob to Balo over the defense. Third, make it the fourth foul on a walk-up. And, and Rick Barnes has to come with size. 
Now, I love this kid. A walk is not his fault. He's only 6'8. He's just, he's mismatched with length. So now Adu, zero in orange. We'll get a look at that low block defensively. Yeah, the foul trouble in Tennessee's front court starting to become yeah, maybe a thing. Oh, oh Open 4-3. He got lost on the backside. I think it was Kamwar, key one of them. Just negligent, knowing where guys were when the ball was handed out of bounds. Quick bucket for Kamwa, so an immediate answer for Tennessee. Arizona still ahead by five at home. Kevin, these teams are built so similar. Man, they, they really understand the importance of scoring around the rim being physical. Arizona has held up in that area. There it is again. This time, Kamwa got a piece of it. Stays here, 11 seconds to shoot. Watch Ramey just slide to the corner. Tennessee gets lost on the backside of the play. It's Kamwa who's staring at the middle part of the floor. And Arizona just sneaks his shooter to that far corner. And Ramey makes him pay. What an addition he's been. You referenced his four years at Texas, and he was a pretty noted marksman while he was there. Now he's taken, what, five, six threes a game this season. He's nearly 50% from beyond the arc. A terrific add for Tommy Lloyd. One that was kind of late in the game, didn't add, the, add to the roster until June. He is Arizona's best defensive guard. And he has top blocked Vescovy a handful of times in this game and not allowed Vescovy to run to a three. So eight seconds to shoot for Arizona. So Kreese is inbounding it on the hash mark. And Ramey's going to have to go. High ball screen. Oh, this is five feet beyond the arc. Way off that time. Tupel is trying to rip it away from Adu. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Arizona. Arizona with the rebounding advantage in this game. With a 24 to 16. That's a big, big number. Tommy Lloyd challenged these guys yesterday about again. The game starts when the ball's on the glass, and Arizona has answered so far. Meshack whistle for the reach in. Kevin, Tennessee is so handsy on the ball in a good way. Like, they have hot hands that are always trying to bother the ball. You've got to rip that thing through and get a call or two each half because of it. Well, such a unique matchup inside this building. Number one defensive team in the country, Tennessee. Number one offensive team in the nation, Arizona. Tabellis cuts to the rack, draws another whistle. And this time the Lithuanian's going back to the free throw line. He is so quick to Bellis in and out of ball screens. That time is just a little bit of a blur screen, a ghost screen, a smoke screen. Different staffs call it different things. It's not a real screen. It's a fake screen that gets him running downhill. He is a very quick athlete for 6'10". He's got 12 points this evening. Pac-12's leading scorer with 13. Jumpman Invitational next week in Charlotte inside the Spectrum Center, home of the Hornets. Look at this matchup. Michigan and North Carolina starts at 7. Right afterward, you got Oklahoma and Florida. Those women's teams meet at 9.30. So back-to-back -back nights inside the Spectrum Center. All four of those programs, men's and women's teams, meet. It's amazing, amazing how good North Carolina looks when Armando Baycott gets touches on the low block. Just, just watch the film if you're North Carolina and understand who you are and who you should be going for. 28-15 yeah, today. It's not, that, it's not that hard of a game, and we sometimes make it way too hard. Kamwa size it up to Bellis. Parisa caught a piece of the pass. He was looking for Kamwa again. Ziegler get downhill. Pass Ramey. Kick out, Kamwa, one on the timer, short. Ziegler, new 20 for Tennessee. He's the guy that can flip the game for Tennessee. Smallest guy on the floor with an offensive rebound. Rick Barnes gonna go to his floppy action, trying to run key off for a jumper. There it is. Strong on the three. Tennessee hit five of its first nine triples in the first half. They're 0 of seven since. They've gone cold from deep, turnover. Three on one, Ziegler all the way to the rim. He was so good, about 20 feet from the basket, Kevin. Kind of zigging in and zigging out a little bit, freeing himself up, creating space. 
small guys understand how to do it in the open floor really well. Fourth straight at double figures for Ziegler. This is one of his finer games. A, a small guy can't wait to the rim to create space. Watch Ziegler right here. Boom, just a little bit of a nudge and a, and, and a head fake to get the defender off of him. About 20 feet away right there. That move right there kind of froze Courtney Ramey and allows Zakai Ziegler to get to that left finish. And there was just no hesitation either. Uh, he's Talk about guys with different gears. <laughs> You're looking at one. Oh, he nearly swiped that one away. Yeah, Ziegler, the remember he was the three-star afterthought in that 21 class turned fan favorite last year, all freshman team. Terrific defender as well. He and Donovan Klingon, the kid for UCLA as well. Klingon from UConn, the best six men right now in college basketball. Boy, they're going to whistle Phillips here for. And he's trying to box out to Bellis, but then he gets whistled for his second personal. And yeah, so that's the seventh team foul. Look, 13 yeah. 14 to go, and Arizona's in the bonus already. 18 fouls to nine in the game. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what the fouls are right now. 19 personal fouls on Tennessee to nine for Arizona. A little bit of a flip of the strip of what happened last year in Knoxville. Yep. Got Adu on the bench. He's been whistled for three, so Plopchic is going to come back in with three. And he'll be showered with a love and affection from this crowd. He's a little bit of a heel, isn't he, at times? Well, he, it doesn't help the fact that he's the next Arizona State Sun Devil as well. He's, he's got two things yeah, working against him. That's a good point. <laughs> well, they have to get their money's worth. He redshirted the one year at Arizona State. They didn't have a chance yeah, to pull. They know, though. This, this is a basketball community. They, they do their homework. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ziegler, I mean, just zigs and zags right to the rim. Kevin, he's got to stay in the game. He's going to have to play and maybe the remaining 13 for Tennessee to have a chance. One guy that Arizona right now can't keep out of the paint is Zakai Ziegler. Deep post catch for Ballo again. He was stumbling to Bellis. No. Another three. Carissa puts it in. He just has a knack, man, to make daggers. Big shots at big times out of Kirk Carissa. Phillips now puts his head down and attacks. And he earns two free throws. And Kirk Kreese shoots a really good ball. It comes in at 40% on the year. But he's just a hooper. At the, at the end of the day, you can talk about all the things he does. He's got great eyes as a passer, great feel. He's quick with the ball with either hand, not only off the bounce, but off the pass as well. But at the end of the day, he is a hooper. Now Phillips is technically Tennessee's leading scorer. His first basket yeah. comes at the 12-30 mark in the second half, or first point, I should say. He has to get downhill remaining 12-30 in this game. He'll have opportunities because Balo now is back in the game. He's guarding Plopchich. Balo is playing drop coverage. Plopchich is not even going to be guarded, so Plopchich can set some ball screens for Phillips and get him downhill. The starters tonight, combining both teams from Uruguay, Finland, Serbia, Estonia, Sweden, Lithuania, Mali, and the United States. It's a high-level international pro game is what it is. I got eight nationalities there. <laughs> Larson with a foul. the back iron. Plavcic stumbles. <laughs> he pops right back up. Now, it looked like he got hit in the face on the way down. Yeah, I, I think Adama Ball was reaching for the ball. He comes in right there. Oh, it's, yeah. It's... Hey, man, th those things happen. It's a foul. Lace it up. Let's go. Five fingers right to the face that time. And that butt screen by Tennessee again. They'll get it two or three times each half and get down off of it. Tennessee, like you say, moving the ball side to side. Ziegler, an aggressive attack, deflected by Ball. 
Vescovi with the ball fake. Blocked by Ballo with one second on the timer. Plopcic had the recognition to put it up there, but instead here comes Larson. How about Ballo to block the shot and then fly in for the rebound? Cross-court feed, that was a dangerous one. Arizona starting to move it. Kresa, uh, no, that one strong. Plopcic got a piece and into Ziegler's hands. There's a whistle all the ways away from the basketball. Kresa went flying underneath. It, he was attempted to take a charge. Instead, it's going to be a blocking foul on Kresa. Boy, it's starting to heat up. A five-point game. Arizona now has held a lead for <laughs> much of this second Starting half. to heat up? <laughs> <laughs> ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the Sonic Steak Butter Bacon Cheeseburger for a limited time only at Sonic. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Hey, hey girls! <laughs> Hello, Are you kidding me? Is that for me? How? Oh, can't wait to see what you got your mother. <laughs> the BMW Road Home Sales Event, on now. Receive a credit of up to $3,250 on select models now through January 3rd. Where can you get great appliances this holiday? Backed by our price promise every day. Lowe's, actually. The final days of Winterfest are here. Save now before they're gone. Oh, what a good time we will have. You can make it happen again. Voltaren, the joy of movement. At Domino's, we appreciate those who get off the couch to pick up the pizza. Be right back. In our eyes, you're a carry-out hero. It's a pull, sweetie. And to recognize your efforts, we're tipping you $3 for picking up your online carry-out order at Domino's. Back inside the McHale Center. Hey, look, we got a Hall of Famer in the stands. Troy Palomalo, let me try to count it up. I got eight Pro Bowls, of course, a couple of Super Bowls with the Steelers. Uh, a little irony here, because he went to USC, so here he is in <laughs> enemy territory. There's been some some uh, some stars in the building this evening. Jimmy, we got 11.29 to go. Top 10 battle. It's, this is the main event of a huge day of college basketball. Now. On one hand, Tennessee plays big in these games, always has of late. It's won five straight against AP top 10 teams. That's the longest active streak in those type of games in college basketball. On the other hand, Arizona doesn't normally lose in this daunting building. 24 straight home wins, and as a team, you really you embody that identity when you set foot into a building like this. Yeah, Kevin, we don't have a dominant team in college basketball this year like we did a couple of years ago with Gonzaga and Baylor, but, but we have a bunch of really good teams. And these two right here are as good as anybody out there. I'm, you know, UConn, Purdue, Tennessee, Arizona, Kansas, the ones that I've seen in person, but they are really, really good. And these two teams here are final four good going at it. Boy, how often did they work on that pass yesterday? Key kept it low for Kamwa, and then he hit the reverse on the other side of the rim. In a game like this, you have to win the out of timeout points. There's a bunch of them at stake within a ball game, and Tennessee just got it. Ballo rolls off the rim to Bellis. He is everywhere underneath. I'm really impressed with Arizona's battle on the glass tonight. They are now plus nine on the boards in this game. Not easy to get after Tennessee on the backboards. Arizona had stretched its lead to as many as seven in this half. 
It's led for the majority of this second after Tennessee led for large portions of the first, but not by much. Carissa misses the three, and Plopchich with the rebound. Kevin Plopchich has three personal fouls. He's too important to pick up a, 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 a lazy type play foul right now. He's got to keep his emotions in check. Rim run. Draws the foul, Plomchich is going to the line. But see the importance of this guy, he's 7-2. He can match Balo in the size department. He's a hard cutter, he's physical, but he cannot pick up a careless foul and guard himself on the bench with foul trouble. Can't happen. Do they give away free chicken sandwiches if the guy misses both? <laughs> Especially if it's a former Arizona State Sun Devil. <laughs> I love the background that he's shooting into. That, that's some real passion right there going on with the band. Heck yeah. It worked. Missed them both. Good stuff, Sona Zoo. Midway mark, second half. Larson left wide open for three. That's way oh. long. Here comes Vescovy. You know what? He's not soft, though. Soft guys miss short. Lar Larson's not soft. Neither does this kid. Ziegler. Nope, that's strong. He ain't going to miss short either. Boswell. Highly touted freshman getting some minutes here in the second half. He's 17 years old, number four in white. Yeah, that is crazy. Bounce pass to two Bellis. Going to work on Kamwa. Turns the lefty, went with the hook shot, down and out. So now you got Balo off the floor. It's Vesar, the freshman, and two Bellis inside. Key to Kamwa. Faces on two Bellis. Key the rebound and a second chance. The ball to deserves to go in right now for Tennessee because of the hustle play by, by Tyreek Key. Will it? I don't know, but it deserves to go in. Nope. Ball back to Zona. Well, more times than not, when you give up your body, and you keep that thing alive, the ball just knows that the next shot should drop, but with a turnover, Tennessee retreats to the other end and gets that defense set. Tennessee not shooting as efficiently in the no. second half as it did in the first. So 33% from the floor, second half. They, Tennessee, can go through some three or four minute scoring drought. Yeah. This rugged defense testing Arizona, oh, but to Bellis, how quick is that? I'm telling you, he's as quick of a 6'10 kid that we have in college basketball. He is lightning quick on the touch. From the target hand to the rim, it is bam, just like that. He's got 19 Arizona matches, its largest lead of the evening. Mayshack a baseline drive, gave it away. Where was he going? He can't answer the question either. Vesar, a little too long, the pass is for the freshman. And so a timeout with 7.59 to go. Tommy Lloyd's team has stretched it to its largest lead. Watch the spin speed of Tabellus. The pass, watch this. Spin, boom, whip, up, down. Man, hard to guard. It's the Subway Series menu. 12 irresistible subs. The most epic sandwich roster ever created. It's Subway's biggest refresh yet. Sam. Hey, little brother. Make this December one to remember. Happy holidays from Lexus. What do you represent? Is it an attitude or something more iconic? To make sure everybody is listening when you make a statement. What are you made of? When your physique gets physical, when your experience 
sets the example when the spoils must lead to victory. Are you putting on a show or cementing your legacy so everybody knows what greatness looks like? Why is everyone talking about navage and nasal irrigation? I am one who suffers from chronic sinus infection. You need to clean that crap out of your nose. Navage is simple. Your nose is the body's air filter, but it's not perfect. Navage is a drug-free way to help flush out allergens, mucus, and germs using powered suction. Join nearly 3 million Navage users so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier. I love this thing. It's nice to breathe. Navage, clean nose, healthy life. Say hello to Rocket Money, the all-in-one personal finance app packed with tools to help you manage and save money, like canceling unused subscriptions with just a tap. If you're ready for a total money management solution, then download the Rocket Money app today. Do you have an invention idea? Go to inventhelp.com to get started today. We have services to showcase your invention. This holiday season, why not do something for yourself? Go to inventhelp.com or call 8447-INVENT for free information. In Tucson, Arizona with a seven-point lead over Tennessee. Top ten battle. Inside the McHale Center, it's delivered to this point. So with 7.59 to go in the second half, Arizona has stretched it back to its largest lead of the game, Tennessee. Pretty good shooting in that first half. You see the five triples, but Jimmy, 35% from the floor in the second half. What's going on? Can't make a three. Tennessee can. And Vescovy, he's one for nine in the ball game. He's one for six from the three-point line. And very unusual. I'm, I'm almost positive it's the first time all year that Tennessee is really getting dominated at the free throw line. 16 points for Arizona from the charity stripe, only four for Tennessee. A complete reversal of who Tennessee's been all year in that part of the game. Tennessee makes 18 a game. They make more than the op opponent's attempt. Yeah. Not tonight. Ziggler's got to get downhill again. This is their best late. Uh-oh. And down. Boswell knocked it free momentarily. The freshman is really all up in Ziegler's face. Lob down. Now the shot clock's going to expire anyway. One way or the other turnover. Ramey, oh, this place is going to explode. Bang! I'd take a timeout if I'm Rick Barnes. That defensive play by Boswell on Ziegler. Oh, there's a, a technical has been assessed, and I think to someone on Arizona's bench, maybe. So Arizona's just been assessed a technical. And it was Tony Padilla who issued it. I thought he pointed to somebody on Arizona's bench. Well, and that may be the culprit. Kirk Carissa, and yes, so it's going to be a technical. So Ziegler and the Vols get some important free throws here. Well, Kirk, Kirk Carissa had to be snapping at somebody, John at somebody from the end of the bench. All right, so keep an eye. Yeah, 25 in the white. Yeah, we we can't see it there, but did they announce that it was Kirk Creesa? So those free throws get Tennessee back within eight. Top 10 battle in McHale Center. It seems like places are giving you less and less food these days. Man, yes, mama, it's called shrinkflation. Oh, shrinkflation is just another word for robbery. But this is shackflation. What? Dang, that's huge. Extra pepperoni, extra tea on that thing. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. <gasps> Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me. Because your lives are forever entwined. Darling, please. 
be mine. Love Entwined, exclusively at K. Where can you save time shopping and spend quality time at the same time? Lowe's, actually. The final days of Winterfest are here. Save now before they're gone. We know y'all can cook real good, but sometimes the fam just wants Popeyes for dinner. And since our 10-piece box packs lots of our juicy mixed signature chicken everyone can enjoy, you want in too. Get it only at Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. The story of the college football playoff unfolds. Will the Wolverines find playoff redemption? Or will the fearless frog shine in their debut? Then, are the reigning dogs primed to repeat? Or can the Buckeyes seize their second chance? Michigan TCU at 4 and Georgia Ohio State at 8, Saturday, December 31st on ESPN. Tennessee, uh, pardon me, Arizona by 8. There is the very effervescent Kirk Creases. So take a peek at the prior sequence. Courtney Ramey drills his fourth three of the evening. There goes Creasy, starts walking uh, basically along the baseline. And that's, according to the rule book, that's a no-no. So look, one of the assistants actually drags him back. Tony Padilla comes over and, and whistles him or issues him a technical foul. So the trainer actually was the one who went and got him. And all right, you just, you talk with, you just talk with Vern Harris. Was he explaining that? Listen, he was walking the baseline, can't do that. Yeah, well, it counts as a personal foul. First of all, you leave the bench area like that. That's his third. And a Class B technical was assessed to Tommy Lloyd, according to Vern Harris. That's a really big play, because this building was exploding. Wow. And now Tennessee, you look up, and it's right back into a six-point game. So that's a four-point sequence right there. The two for technical free throws, and then the Vescovy acrobatic layup. Ballo's about to check back in for Arizona with it being a six-point game again. I talked about Tennessee and Kansas, to me, are the hardest-cutting teams in college ball. Vescovy that time with a purposeful, hard, fast scoring cut. And it will continue for the next 6.52. I've been impressed with Arizona's defense. I didn't know if they had the chops to hold up defensively in this game. So far, so good. Arizona's won three straight since that loss to Utah, including big win over Indiana last week in Vegas. They just kind of overwhelmed them, overwhelmed them, I should say. Scored 89. Other big wins against San Diego State and Creighton in Maui. Those two teams have well, they've struggled a little bit since. This would no doubt be Arizona's signature win to this point in the season. This is Kamwa. Ziegler, head fake, one dribble, three in the air, bucket. Yeah. Big one for Ziegler. Kevin all set up, though, by another hard cut by Vescovy to the ball. Played off of two feet with his feet underneath his shoulders and just fired, spread the ball out to Ziegler for that sidestep three. Well, Ziegler's just matched his career high. He's got 18, no doubt. This is his finest game of the season at a minimum offensively. He's seven to nine from the floor. Tough shot. Ramey, a high arcer. Bounces around, Vescovy pounces on it. So it's a five-point game again. Tennessee has been from playing from behind much of the second half. Key a three in the air. Back-to-back -back triples are down. Kevin, the game changed when Kirk Creasy got the technical foul. A crazy play to not keep wow. your emotions and allow Tennessee to come right back in this ball game because it has been a sprint by Tennessee since that play. Tennessee is so good at cut. There's the cut I'm talking about by Vescovy that shrinks the defense. A sidestep by Ziegler with the rise, release, and rotation. And in the very next possession, Key sticks one. And the Volunteers right back in this game. It's a 6 nothing run. Those technical free throws proved to yeah. be pretty critical. I think it's that's a 10 to 10-2 to two run now that Tennessee is on. It fell behind by 10, back within two. Kevin, these teams, they're, they're the real deal. They're, there's nothing fraudulent about Tennessee or Arizona, either one. No. You know, they're, they're physical, they got size, they got depth, they got a real belief in how they're supposed to play the game. They're very well coached. You know, that's a, it's, they're, they're built to go the distance. 
And we set the graphic in the first half that there's 12 teams this week in the top 12 of the AP poll. Yeah. The national champion since 2004 has been ranked inside the top 12, the eventual national champion. And that's exactly where Tennessee and Arizona are right now six weeks in. They are the real deal, both of them. Yeah, no doubt SEC and Pac-12 title contenders. But to your point, look, they're both 9-1. and one. They've both beaten good teams. You know, in a day that's been filled with gargantuan college hoops battles, they almost feel like the undercard to this one. This feels like the main event. It's Arizona by two. Its 10-point lead is nearly evaporated. Tennessee's defense on Arizona's high-low game has been as good as you could ask for. They've gotten it a few times, but they have not just completely destroyed Tennessee with that high-low action. Ramey's going to the free throw line. Vescovy whistled for his second. 5.32 to go, second half. Arizona, 24 straight wins inside this building. They haven't lost in the McHale Center since February of 21. 18 for 20 from the free throw line is Arizona up until that one. Huge women's hoops, triple header tomorrow. One last reminder to let you know Florida State and number nine UConn get things going at 11 over on ESPN. Tennessee and Stanford, that's at three on ABC. And then the top 25 battle, Iowa State and Villanova at 3.30 on ESPN. Three really good ones tomorrow. This has to be the game of the year on the East Coast at 12.20 at night. Has there been a better game at 12.20 <laughs> on the East Coast so far this, this is year? The best game, this is the best game. The best game on Sunday yet, <laughs> let me tell you, in the Eastern time zone. Kawa, yes. I love it. You take up the slack on Balo. He's going to drop off and play that drop coverage, take up the slack, get into his chest, and make this a one-point game. Really well done by Kawa. Look at this. Tennessee back in it. They were starting to fade a little bit. Arizona had built a 10-point lead. Oh, Ziegler. He is playing with an edge tonight. Knocks that Larson pass away. When does he not? Nineteen points for, or make it eighteen. It's a career high for the Long Island native. Teresa back into the game. Larson goes with a right hand drive and hits it. Really tough shot through contact by Larson. Playing with his feet underneath him. At times he's, he struggles and tries to get overstretched. Not on that play. Really well done. Vescovy bumped by Ramey. What do I mean by playing with your feet underneath you? Watch, watch Larson. There's some contact on the drive. But he gets his feet underneath him. He goes off of one foot, but he's not off balance. Goes straight up and elevates. Such a rugged competitor is Pella Larson. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Sixth man of the year in the conference a year ago. Gosh, he was great against Indiana last week. Continues to just ascend and get better. Meanwhile, here's Vescovy. Kevin, only the ninth free throw attempt for Tennessee in this game. Surprising. Yeah, very surprising. Vescovy, the senior from Uruguay. Whenever you talk to Rick Barnes about why has this program ascended in recent years, he points to either Josiah Jordan James, who's out again today, or Vescovy. They have been the tone setters for years. The reason why Tennessee has ascended back to national prominence in recent years. Finds itself down one. We're coming up on the four-minute mark. Top ten battle inside McHale. Bellis comes to a halt. Back to Larson. Keeps the pivot foot, this time off the window. Misfires and Kamwa's down with the board. Olivier Kamwa, 14 points. He's got three rebounds, five assists. He has been impactful tonight. Look at Balo drop off a of Plopchich. Oh my goodness. Backcourt violation. Arizona has it with 344 when we return. It's a one-point game in Tucson. Couldn't have asked for anything better. These two have been battling all night. There's never been a better time to get away. 
with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR, zero payments for 90 days, and 500 bonus cash on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now, there's Sky Rizzi. Things are getting clearer. I feel free to bear my skin. Yeah, that's on me. Nothing and me go hand in hand. Nothing on my skin. That's my new plan. Achieve clearer skin with Sky Rizzi. Three out of four people achieve 90% clearer skin at four months. In another study, most people had 90% clearer skin, even at four years. And Sky Rizzi is just four doses a year after two starter doses. It's my mom, so I just gotta say, nothing is Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Now's the time to ask your doctor about Sky Rizzi, the number one dermatologist prescribed biologic. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Yeah, I told you that Zakai Ziegler has the ability to flip the game. Well, he has. He's been good all night long. He's knocked down the three ball, but really it's just his toughness and understanding how to play the game as a small guard, a constant harassing defender. He's so good in the open floor, knows how to score. But at the end of the day, it's his DNA and his grit and his will that I think has really elevated Tennessee back into this ball game. And man, look at this, this is an amazing number right here. Zero bench points wow. for Arizona in this game. It's been a long time since I've seen a game where the bench hasn't produced anything. And Tennessee has balance right now throughout their top eight or nine guys. What a game. Tommy Lloyd's team was ahead 10 with 7.15 to go. Kirk Reese got whistled for a technical. Tennessee scored four in a row. Then they went on a 10 to 2 run. Here we are. One point game, 344 to go. Top 10 battle has lived up to the hype inside the McHale Center. Plopchitz has played a lot of minutes with only three fouls. It's a big part of this second half as well. His size inside. Here he is. Picks up the dribble, barges in, rolls off the rim, rebound to Ziegler. Kevin, he's big enough to bother Bala. If he's sitting on the on the bench with fouled out of this game, that's a bucket. Key, wide open for three. Leaves it short, and Plopchich now with seven rebounds. Just quicker to the ball that time was Plopchich. Normally this is downhill for Ziegler when they get a second opportunity. Under three minutes, Tennessee still down one. Bescovy, head fake, kicks it back out to Ziegler. Deep one. Tubelis rises, comes down with the rebound. Got him back door. Look at Larson, count it! And the foul! What a play, because all the attention was to the left side of the floor. They ran an elevator screen for Kirk Creason. That was all decoy. It's decoy over here and back cut here. Really well done on the fly by Tommy Lloyd and his guys. And Ziegler is such an aggressive defender, overplays, and the tenacity of Larson just jumps out courtside. He is strong, he is athletic, acrobatic at the rim. Arizona's lead back to four. Feels like a must possession for Tennessee. Ziegler initiating the offense. Ziegler attacks baseline, bounce pass, key wide open. That three is strong. Larson down with another board. Got a good look, though. Got Plop. that hammer action on the backside. It's five on four, so Bala with Plomchich on the other end. He's got the mismatch. Just pushes straight through Vescovy. That's the problem when your guard has to sprint back and be the first defender on the block. 
It is lights out. Listen to this building. Ziegler calls a timeout. Sellout in the McHale Center. Well, there's a reason why there's 24 straight wins in this building. <laughs> they, they love their ball. They have gone blow for blow with, there's not a more physical team or a stronger team with an inner grit than what Tennessee packs with them when they go on the road, but Arizona has gone blow for blow. They have kept the juice alive with their home crowd that has had an impact on this game. Kevin, that size of Arizona over, over 40 minutes, it really wears you down between Balo and Tabellus. And it, it's starting to happen, it looks like, a little bit to Tennessee right now. What a little series this has been the last two years. Last season in Knoxville inside Thompson Bowling Arena. That was a game in which Tennessee was a big. Arizona tried to rally and come back. Ultimately, the Vols won. A lot of the players on the floor tonight for Arizona, they logged minutes in that game a year ago. And yeah. that one definitely left a little bit of a sour taste in their mouth. It was a ranked on rank game a year ago. Same circumstances again this season to nine and one teams where they have battled, and Arizona has the six-point advantage. Well, and the last time Arizona faced a real physical club was against Houston last year in the Sweet 16, and they got beat. And I've said it before, older doesn't make you better. Getting better and working on your craft and, and, and growing with who you are as a player is what makes you better. Balo had a phenomenal offseason, and that, la that loss last year in Knoxville, it should have eaten at the gut of Arizona for the last 12 months. And it looks like it has. Nevertheless, there's still 144 oh, to go. Absolutely. And Tennessee's got it here. 23 on the shot clock. You need to score quick, though, off that side out of bounds. What does Rick go to? He, Ziegler is normally the guy trying to get downhill. Arizona blowing up every screen so far. So now it's Bescovy. Oh, he's being harassed by Tabellus and Ramey. Back to Phillips on the drive. He's closed out. Kamwa watches that one rattle around, and it falls through. Yeah, that was a must possession, and a, and a step inbounds and out of bounds. It's going to be Tennessee ball. Yeah, back to Tennessee. Looked like Larson on the baseline. I think he was out of bounds, stepped in, and stepped back out is exactly what happened. Got sped up by what looked like was going to be full court Tennessee pressure. What a huge play. Yeah, that's a critical moment in this game. So now Tennessee can get it back to maybe a one-point game with a three. Tennessee with one timeout left, Arizona with two. Vescovy off the screen, he's freed up way long that time. He, Kevin, he shot it too fast. He had plenty of time. He shot that thing as he was turning. Clock starts to be a factor inside of a minute. Ramey steps back. Contested jumper is long. Kamwa's got it. Quick outlet pass. Did not love the shot. Vescovy straight to the rim. Got blocked. Key went after it. Ramey falls. Here's Tabellis. 36 seconds. Creesa. Got to get him. Got to get him. Yeah, a lot of times coming off here. And look who's open. Bala. Fouled and so Ziegler he is a lifesaver there. So he sends a 50% free throw shooter to the line 26.8 Man, there's a ton of contact though on the other end a couple of times and There's a lot of contact there on Vescovy trying to go up and get Ooh. the shot off He gets held doesn't get called in the scramble for the loose ball. There's a major collision that goes uncalled as well Yeah, that one certainly could have been whistled so Ballo at the free throw line on the other end, 26.8 to go. Ballo this evening, he's four of five at the line. Coming into today was a 52% free throw shooter. The Malian with some big ones. Yeah. 
Tommy Lloyd's got two timeouts left. You could you want to call one and make sure we all understand what we're doing defensively. It's just a two possession game, even if it's a make right now. We're going to play on. 25 seconds. Can you squeeze off a three quickly? There's a pretty good look. He just a quick one. Tyreek Key offline to Bellis. Soars in. Now you got a foul again. Larson's going to the free throw line. Arizona with a six point lead can make it a three possession game with 15.8 left. And they can start to sense it. The winners of the Maui Invitational about to take down the winners of the Battle for Atlantis. Why is that important? Nine out of the last 11 national champions won a regular season tournament. Both these clubs won one. Now they go head to head and Arizona's gonna walk out of this one with a huge, huge win. Boy, we say it a lot with these type of big games happen. It feels like a tournament game. It's not going to be surprising to see both of these squads if they make deep march runs. Got eight seconds left. Now seven. Ziegler connects. So now Rick Barnes calls a timeout. He's got some words for John Higgins. 6.1 to go. Five point game. Yeah, Rick's still upset about the, the lack of a no call. We showed the replay maybe two possessions ago. There's a lot of body collisions going on. That, I think, I think Arizona committed a foul that went uncalled. I think Tennessee committed maybe a foul that went uncalled, but. Yeah, Rick is still having an extended conversation now with Tony Padilla. So here you go. Tennessee now. It still has one timeout remaining. OK, 6.1 to go, but now, boy, you need a steal in a most desperate manner. Time is just not your friend. Well, Arizona's got to get the ball in. Big part of this game, Tennessee only nine offensive rebounds. Their season low is 11. They've been held to their lowest offensive rebound percentage this year. And Tommy Lowe was very clear with his guys yesterday. That, that, that's the game. If you don't want to fight Tennessee on the glass, we got no chance. The game's not over. And Arizona going to trigger this thing with Kerr Creesa and looks like going to make it a sprint to the ball with Larson and Ramey. And you draw a foul right now if you're Tennessee and get ran over. That's one way to try to get points on the board at that free throw line. Don't expect a whistle if you're Arizona right now. Expect contact. Don't get bailed out by a whistle. Be strong. Four That's seconds. Yeah. Tennessee's going to let it. Well done Drain by away. Arizona. Really well done by Arizona. Arizona Two. flexes its muscles against the six-ranked Tennessee Vols. Jimmy now four wins against ranked teams. Boy, wait a second. Couple of players were starting to jaw at one another. Just walk off the floor. Game's over. And you've got a lot of Arizona players waving goodbye. They got their hands up in the air, and a lot of Tennessee players are still staring down this crew. Yeah, well, first of all, if you didn't play in the game and you're a walk-on, you can't say anything to anybody. Just go to the locker room. A hard-fought contest with a lot of heat in the building. These two teams are Final Four National Championship good. And Tennessee got the better of them last year. Arizona gets the better of it this year. And you walk off and say, maybe we'll see you down the road. Big kid basketball game tonight. You see the celebration afterward. All right, so here's what happens. Yeah, Ramey. And Creesa were, you know, they were right there jawing at Ziegler and Vescovy. Vescovy said, hey, guys, get, get out of here. But, yeah, you had a couple of Arizona players certainly feel themselves antagonizing a little bit afterward. Luckily, nothing escalated. <laughs> Boy, what a great game, though, right? <laughs> Man, if you're going to play the game, play the game like you want to win it. Arizona wins it for our producer, Sean, ja uh, Sean Jackson, our director, Mike Roy, and Jimmy Dykes. I'm Kevin Fitzgerald saying so long from Tucson. Arizona with a big one tonight.